In this video we will take a look at uh, the slide of cerebrum. Uh, the slide is stained with hematoxin eosine. The cerebral wall create gary. Here you can see one gross and salty. Here is a one sulcus and a second sulcus. So, uh, the cerebral wall is divided to the gray matter and white matter. Here you can see gray matter. This is the outer layers of cells and deeper it's located the white matter here. And here is a, another gray matter. Here is a gray matter. In the center, it's located white matter. So the gray matter is subdivided to the six layers uh, according to uh, predominant cell types. For example, here you can see uh, blood vessels, here, here in arachnoidea matter. On the surface of cerebral wall, you can see pea matter. This is a very thin uh, layer of uh, few cells and collagen fibers here. And here is starts uh, gray matter. First layer, gold. Molecular layer is a very solar poor, poor uh, layer of gray matter. This is the first molecular layer. The second uh, layer under the molecular layer it's a external granular layer. Uh, Predominant cell, it's a small granular layer with small pyramidal cells and two glial cells. This is the first layer. Second layer is a external granular layer. The deeper is located. Third layer called external pyramidal layer uh, with small pyramidal cells. Next layer it's a layer with predominantly uh, granular cells and two uh, middle sized uh, pyramidal cell called internal granula layer. The layer uh, which contains a big pyramidal cells, for example here, it's a very big pyramidal cell called Betz's cell, uh, pyramidal cell. It's called, it's a fifth uh, layer and called internal pyramidal layer. The last layer uh, of the gray matter is a multifor multiform layer uh, which contains uh, pyramidal cells, uh, granular cells and a lot of uh, glial cells. So and this is the deeper, the, the deepest layer of uh, the gray matter called multiform layer. For example here it's a multi multiform uh, layer of gray matter. So and uh, under the gray matter it's located white matter. Uh, but not the distinct uh, border between the gray matter and white matter. 
and in the uh, white matter it's predominantly a uh, glial cell uh, we uh, recognize uh, astrocytes oligodendrocytes and uh, microglia uh, for example here it's a uh, uh, good visible blood uh, vessels capillaries here and here it's another capillaries very uh, darker uh, nucleus uh, it's a nucleus of oligodendrocyte for example here here and here it is a very dense uh, dense nucleus very dark around nucleus this is the nuclei of oligodendrocytes uh, astrocytes contains a, a, a lighter nuclei uh, with a, a dark uh, edge for example here it's a nucleus of oligodendrocytes here the oligodendrocyte is near uh, the na neighborhood uh, to the blood uh, blood vessels and uh, the microglia uh, contains a uh, spindly uh, shape of nucleus for example here it's a very dark nucleus with spindly shape and uh, the nucleus uh, is uh, from the microglia for example here and here it's a nuclei of microglia so so well, this is uh, the, the all for the uh, cerebral uh, wall. You can find a uh, uh, arachnoid uh, matter. Uh, here is a, a visible uh, remnant of arachnoid uh, matter with a large blood vessel and few collagen fiber. Uh, on the surface of uh, the cerebral wall, you can see a pia mater. Here it's a very thin layer of few cells and uh, few fibers, and uh, under the pia mater you can find gray matter, uh, which is uh, subdivided to the six uh, layers according to the predominant uh, cell type. The first is molecular layer, another is a external granular layer, external pyramidal layer, internal granular layer, internal pyramidal layer and multiform layer and uh, under the gray matter you can find white matter uh, with uh, uh, axons, dendrites and a lot of uh, glial cells oligodendrocytes with a very dark uh, around nucleus the astrocytes it's with uh, lighter nucleus and uh, microglia it's a spindly shape of uh, nucleus and uh, a lot of blood vessels uh, you can find in the uh, white matter and uh, gray matter also so thank you very much.